Good afternoon, my name is Matthew Stones from Axel Technologies and this afternoon I'm making a quick video to show the various different types of Topaz signature pads and how they connect to a terminal server via an Axel terminal. So there are three different technologies. The first one is referred to by Topaz with the descriptor BSB. This could be described as a serial device with an embedded serial to USB converter. This one could be described as a pure USB device. So these two devices look very similar. They have the same USB connector, but in terms of how they connect to a thin client and how they connect to a terminal server, they are very different. And the third type is the serial reader, uh, which has a standard PC COM port. So I'll cover how to install all three of these in a terminal server environment. The first thing to consider is which one to use in which environment. If you're using Windows 2012 then all three of these are equally good. If you're using Windows 2008 then you can't use the generic USB device. You have to use either the serial or the serial device with the USB converter in it. In this video I'll cover how you install all three types on a Windows 2012 server. So the first thing I'll cover is how you can tell the difference between them apart from by the names on the base panels. If you connect them to an Axel terminal, enter setup by pressing Control alt escape go into Diagnostics USB, then the pad which is the serial pad with the USB converter is described like this, FT232 USB UART. And if we go one level deeper and look at the interface, the driver which the terminal will use for that product is USB COM, which means that the terminal will see that device as a serial device through the USB connector. So as far as the terminal server is concerned, the terminal server will see a serial device. Next I'll connect the pure USB device. So the pure USB device is seen as a Topaz HID tablet. So it's reporting itself as a USB class HID which is very different to a serial device. And if we go deeper into the diagnostics, the driver which would be used would be the USB Gen HID, which is a different driver. It's a remote FX driver that will only work under remote FX on Windows 2012. So first of all, I will show how you configure the pure USB device, which will only work on Windows 2012 using remote FX redirection. So the first step is to enter setup, control alt escape, go into diagnostics, USB, and you'll see all your USB devices here. If we select the Topaz device, and down the bottom here, add to USB redirection list and exit. The second step is to go into sessions, session one, redirected resources and down the bottom just to engage the USB remote FX redirection. Save and if we fire up the software start it's working. So it's very simple two settings to set. If it's not working the things to check if you press Control Alt Shift I then down the bottom you should see USB port redirection and that should say in use. If it doesn't, it probably means that you haven't set the remote FX port redirection as shown previously. And if you look in the control panel, you will see the Topaz device down here. And if we pull it out, it disappears. And if we reattach it, it reappears. Just one final point to add. You can use RDP as the main connection between the terminal and the host and use remote FX USB redirection for the USB peripheral devices. I'll now run through configuring 
the USB serial device. Now because we're connecting to 2012 and it's a USB serial device we have the choice we can use remote FX redirection or we can use legacy redirection. If we're connecting to Windows 2008 we only have the option of using the legacy USB redirection. So first of all I will show configuring remote FX very similar to before. Go into diagnostics, USB, there's our device. It's now seen as a different name, as a serial device. Add to the redirection list. Say, go into sessions, session one, redirected resources, down the bottom, USB ports, remote effects, set to yes. Save, quit out, log out, log in again. I've had to load different Topaz software, the same demo, but it is different software. Click start, and it's working. So if I press Control, Alt, Shift, I, as before, we can see we're using USB port redirection, which is the remote FX redirection. Up here where we have redirected COM ports, that's not being used and that's what we will configure next. I'll now run through how you configure the pad to use the legacy USB redirection or the, the serial port redirection. So we enter setup, we go into ports, USB ports, USB 1. It's seen the device as the FT232R USB UART. Down the bottom, we select as COM port under redirection. In the parameters, you can choose what COM port name you use. Now, I, I know that the Topaz software likes to use COM9. Go into sessions, redirected resources. Check that the COM port, LPT ports, is set to all. Or you could have it just set to the, the one single port, doesn't really matter, but make sure that's enabled. Save, quit out, sign out, sign in again. We now run the software, start, it's working, and if you press Control, Alt, Shift, I, we can now see that at the bottom the remote FX port redirection is not being used and we're using the COM port redirection and we can see here that it's open. So that is showing the two ways how you can connect this particular device on Windows 2012 using remote FX USB redirection or legacy COM port redirection. Finally I'll run through how to configure the serial device on an axle terminal with a serial port. We have a Model 85 here. One thing to note is that you will need a converter like this to convert that into the axle RJ45 type serial connector and there is no standard how serial signals are routed over an RJ45 connector. So if you buy one of these generically on the market it probably won't work or if you just find one it probably won't work. You need to either buy it from us or go into our website, look in the manual and find out what the pinouts are. So I quickly connect it up and run through the menus. So first ports, aux ports, aux 1. Down the bottom set RDP ICA as active and as COM port. Under parameters select the number of the COM port that you would use. And one thing to note, if you do select COM port 1 here, then that is COM port on the terminal. It has no relation whatsoever to COM port on the actual server you connect to. It's totally different. Uh, the Topaz software, they default using COM port 9, so I'll leave that to COM port 9. And then in sessions, in your session, redirected resources, check down the bottom here that COM port LPT ports is set to all, quit out, saving along the way, by the way in properties it's here it says COM port 9 so that's why we chose 
nine previously in terminal setup. If we click start and do a little squiggle, it's working exactly as it should. And if you press Control Alt Shift I, then we see the redirected COM port COM9. Uh, it's as before. But now we see the COM port is on auxiliary port 1, whereas previously it was on a USB 1. So I hope that clears any questions about what type of SIGPAD to use and how the different types are configured. So any questions, please contact your local Axel office or contact Axel as below. Thank you very much and bye for now.